it's St. Patrick's Day. That means lots of food and lots of beer. So why not combine the two? Our Katie Lee Joel is here with some great recipes using the classic Irish stout Guinness. Good morning, Katie Lee. Good morning. How are you, Maggie? I'm good. Would you normally use beer to cook with? Beer is a great thing to cook with because alcohol always adds more flavor to your food. So to bring you the luck of the Irish today, I'm making an entire meal using Ireland's favorite beer, a okay. stout. Let's start with clams. Normally, I would mix clams with white wine. I've exactly. never thought of beer. I've always used white wine before, so I thought, why not try it with some beer? And it tastes really good, and oh. it's really easy. And this is a one-pot wonder. So oh, good. easy cleanup. Over here, I started some olive oil with some red onion and garlic, just Smells to really amazing. give it a lot of flavor. I'm going to add some crushed red pepper. Just gives it a little bit of heat, but if you don't like that, you don't have to add okay. it. Okay. A little parsley Got for some color. That. We can pretend it's shamrocks, right? Okay. <laughs> there you go. And to that, put in some clams. And then I'm going to let you add a stout. Okay. Pour no, that right no in sipping, there. Just a <laughs> And make sure that you get those clams really clean because you don't want this to be gritty. So just kind of give them a good scrub, rinse them really well, and make sure there's no sand. The left. beer is dark and heavy. It's not going to lay down this. It tastes great. It makes okay. a really rich, hearty broth. I've got one already finished. Just cover How this and let it, it sit about five minutes and oh, then check quick. on it. And if there's any that haven't opened, throw those out. All right. Because that means they're not good. So That'll here's some beautiful. that are already done. Don't they look good? I've got crusty bread for you. And mm. you just scoop that right out. This makes a great appetizer. It's great for a party. You can put it on the table in a big bowl. Got a little fork for you. Thank you. Let's see how they taste. Let's see. Give me your judgment. <laughs> Mmm. Good. Phenomenal. Great. They don't taste too much like beer, but it's a strong taste, but not overpowering. Mm -hmm. I love it. Very good. And down here I have an Irish beef stew. Okay, that makes sense I to use the beer. I love beef stew. I think it's one of my favorite meals. And it's really easy. Again, a one-pot wonder. And it's really economical because you use a less expensive cut of meat. And because so, you have the beer, it softens it, right? It does. And it cooks for a long time on the stove and really tenderizes. So the beef, you just toss it with a little flour, brown it. Okay. I've had some that's already browned. And see all these great brown bits oh, in here? Yes. That's where all the flavor is. So you just add a bottle of beer and take that wooden spoon okay. and scrape those up. To glaze that's it. That's going to give you all the flavor. And this mm. I would let reduce by about half. So okay, just the beer with for the a couple minutes. Yeah, and that's going to really enrich in all the flavors. Okay. And then you add the meat back. We've got some Bunch here. Brown. And you want to get those potatoes. Got to have potatoes sure, on St. Patrick's Day, right? Got to have Add it. the potatoes. And see, in this you're getting your protein, your veggies. We're going to add those carrots and celery. Beautiful. And the onions. How much? This whole? The whole thing. Wow, that's a lot of onion. A lot of onion. And this and you looks don't want to like chop them lot. finer than that? No, because they're going to cook down and really soften. Add that beef broth. Okay. Just pour that right in. See, this is not how much beer you want to add. This <laughs> no. is beef broth. <laughs> that's the beef broth, right? <laughs> and then just cover it. Over here, I've got some that's been cooking. Oh, yummy. And this, we're going to make a little roux. So let's see. Which we talked about the other day. Yeah. So just put this in there. And you stir that flour around and make it nice and soft. This is the base for a lot of gumbos and Louisiana yeah. dishes. Definitely. And it just thickens things. So you get that nice stewy texture. And your I've house is going to smell done. amazing. It's going to smell great. Oh, and got to add the peas. So the peas go in. So the roux, roux is just as simple as, as mixing this together? Just that simple. And then you okay. pour it right in, cover it. Ten minutes later, it's going to look like this. Mm. Delicious. Everything all in one. And you know, it's still kind of cold outside. Oh, good. So this feels spot. really good. All right, while I taste this, I have to ask you, you put beer in those cupcakes? Beer in cupcakes. I really? know it sounds weird, okay. but this is really good. Chocolate and stout is actually a great combination. Actually. So I just put a little bit of cream cheese frosting on it, some green sprinkles, and voila. Let's okay. see how you like it. Okay, I'm skeptical about this <laughs> I one. I love these. You kick it the and paper the kids off. can eat them because the alcohol cooks out. Mm, you like? Very moist. Very moist, right? I don't taste the beer and you at don't all. don't taste the beer. Cheers. It's delicious. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> I can cheers to that. Okay.